Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a review of The Walking Dead Season 2 deleted scenes now that we've seen them all, or at least get my thoughts on them. I Maybe I shouldn't say review, but, you know, just do a video talking about them a little bit. Uh, if you guys haven't seen them yet, they are uploaded on YouTube. Kind of, I kind of predicted it. I knew somebody pretty soon would upload them as soon as it was released. Uh, I want to thank... Um, uh, M. Boris, uh, F-A-E-S, uh, username, uh, he basically sent me, or she, I don't know, uh, sent me uh, a private message letting me know that uh, that this person had posted all eight of the deleted scenes on YouTube, and uh, I will put the link in the description. Um, you guys can go ahead and go watch them. In total, they're over 20 minutes. They're about, uh, about around 20 minutes, roughly, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, most of them are actually from the first episode. There's about... 13 minutes of deleted scenes, which is a lot. You know, I was surprised when I saw that. I was like, wow, 13 minutes of deleted scenes from What Lies Ahead, uh, season two, uh, episode one. And, you know, I knew that they'd uh, cut out some things, but I didn't think they would have filmed that much. 13 minutes is a lot to be cut out of an episode because if you think about it, the episode by itself is only going to be like, you know, 40, what is it, like 40 minutes plus commercials? Isn't that the regular runtime? 40, 42 minutes, I think, is average runtime for an hour television series uh, show. Um, so, you know, going from that, and then they, they had a little bit extra because the season premiere, like, went over an hour. It was longer than an hour, I remember, on AMC. It was like an hour and, I think, like 20 minutes or something. So it was like a full 60 minutes. Then they cut out an extra 13 minutes on top of it. Uh, I really don't understand even to this day why they decided to cut out a lot of this stuff because a lot of it's really good. And a lot of what people were complaining about is that there wasn't too much action. There's a lot of action scenes, or maybe I shouldn't say a lot, but there was a couple in that that, uh, that you know, they really could have used that were some like more, you know, exciting type scenes. Definitely the shootout at the Vato's place and everything that happens with that is pretty, pretty exciting stuff. I mean, stuff that you probably shouldn't cut out of the show, at least in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure why they wouldn't give them the extra time because, you know, I mean, an hour and a half for a season premiere, you know, you want to get people's attention there for the season premiere. Maybe the timing just worked out better for the slot and they could replay it after if it was that certain specific time for AMC. So whatever they decide to do, regardless, it's really cool that we can see them now, uh, even though it's like a year later. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, it is kind of cool to go back and watch them because you get to see all these little scenes here and there. It's like we're in this series uh, at certain points, and um, a lot of them are just like, why did you cut that? Now, there, there, there are a few, definitely the best, uh, bulk of the deleted scenes is from What Lies Ahead, which is the first episode. After that, the other ones, in my opinion, are not, I mean, they're okay, but a lot of them are just like really quick, like 20 second, 30 second, 45 second, two minute clips. Uh, a lot of them just, you know, by themselves, they, they're not much, you know, so you can, you can go watch them. A few of them are pretty cool, but most of them are just like little clips that, you know, were part of the episode and in context, do they really make much of a difference? Most of them don't. Uh, Story-wise, most of them don't make hardly any difference. But there are a few little weird ones. Like there's one where Dale is listening to the radio in, in this car. And uh, I forget what episode it's from. You can go check it and you'll see. Uh, and basically he's, you know, the guy the guy in the radio is a prick. And he's talking about, you know, religion and all that kind of stuff. And they cut that. And I can see why they would cut that just because um, they might not, they want to, they might want to keep it as far away from religion as possible. They might not want to include that kind of stuff in there. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason for every single one they cut. At the end, there is one from Michonne's appearance that they cut, where I think they used After Effects uh, for a zombie head after she cut it off, where she stabs it on the ground, and it just doesn't look very good, like, uh, at all, uh, and I can understand why they cut that, too, and then there's a lot of other ones where you just have characters talking back and forth, um, which adds a little to the story, and some of them I like. Like there's a scene with Daryl where he's talking to Carol and he's, and he's also talking to Carl and he tells him that uh, Carl asks if he can, you know, shoot his crossbow and Daryl's like, no, your arm's not long enough. And he says, stick to guns, they're easier, they require less skill. Uh, so that kind of thing is is cool. You know, more scenes with Daryl, can't go bad with, you can't go wrong with that. Um, and But other than that, most of the others are just like really quick little clips. It's definitely worth a watch through because it's like 20 minutes of Walking Dead footage from season two that you haven't seen. A lot of them are really useless, though, but definitely the ones from the first episode. Uh, I'll probably watch back a couple times just because it's like, you know, it's really weird they didn't include it. And some of them are like action scenes and stuff and pretty damn cool. Uh, in terms of DVD and why I haven't done a review of it yet is because, uh, or the Blu-ray, I actually don't have it yet. 
Uh, I wanted to buy it and everything, but uh, back to school season right now is just really crazy for me at my job. People buying lots of computers and stuff, and uh, so I have I have mountains of piles of work to do. Uh, and on top of that, still trying to do all my videos that I have to do. I set a goal for myself every week to do 10 videos a week. And uh, this year, I'm proud to say that uh, I have done that every single week of the year. Um, minimum I've put up probably would be like, you know, 9 or 10. And then sometimes I do even more, way more videos. So, um, you know, pretty happy about that. But uh, obviously, with my job and doing 10 videos a week, sometimes I don't get to do extra things like that, like go out and buy the DVD and watch it. Because the thing is, like, I could buy it. But I'm not really going to have time to sit there and, like, go through it. You know, that takes away time from me making videos. Um Although I do intend eventually, I'm, I'm going to buy it, obviously. Um, but will I do like a thorough review of it? Well, this is my review of the deleted scenes, and that's the, the bulk of it. Also, there's um, commentary and other things like that on the DVD uh, slash Blu-ray uh, slash collector's edition that, uh, you know, would be kind of cool, too, to see. And uh, if, there's, if it's worth it, like if there's enough stuff in there, then uh, maybe I'll do a video talking about the commentary and other features on the DVD and that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, generally I wanted to get this one out of, out of the way because for the deleted scenes, they're pretty much, the you know, it's new footage, 20 minutes of new footage that we've never seen before. So that's probably, you know, the most exciting part of what's going to be on the DVD. Aside from that, you know, the commentary and all that other stuff, is eh, it's okay to listen to, but probably nothing major will happen. They'll just be talking about the show and how they made this and did that or whatever, that kind of stuff. But have to watch and see. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be reviewing it because it's just so busy right now and I won't have time to really go through it all to do a thorough review. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you check out the Walking Dead Deleted Scenes uh, link in the description. And that's it for this one. Later, guys. Peace.